Hi, I'm Sarah Taylor with TriMec from our Columbia, Maryland office. In this video, I will be generating the technical documentation for removing the blade of our circular saw product. I will use X Highlight on the 3D Experience platform to generate technical illustrations to bring into our user manual. Let's take a look at the platform to get started. I've been assigned a task to generate the blade removal documentation. I'll drag that into the in work column, which will notify my team that I'm starting this task. I'll switch over to X Highlight and start a new presentation. I'll give it a name and then I'll save it into the same collaborative space where the rest of our files for this project are stored. The first step in X Highlight is to insert our assembly. Here I can filter by collaborative spaces and I'll navigate to the circular saw. Once the model is inserted, I want to start thinking about creating our scenes. So I'll reorient the model through 3D space until I have it positioned exactly how I want it to sit in our first image. I'll zoom in and out and just get it positioned right in that window. Once I'm happy with the position, I will update the camera orientation for our first scene. Now I want to add a circular arrow onto this model to show the rotation of the blade cover. The first step in uh, cleaning or replacing the blade is to move the blade cover out of the way. And this arrow is going to show the direction for the rotation. We can change the center position, the radius, and the arc length of this arrow. I'll also modify the color of the arrow in the properties window on the right. For the next scene, I'll just make a copy of the first one, since we want the orientation of the model to remain the same. However, this image will show the blade cover in the rotated position. So I'm going to adjust the arrow position first. Then I'm going to select the three components that need to be rotated. I'll activate the triad for rotating these components and move the center point of rotation to the center of the washer. I'll use the outer arc of the triad to rotate the components and just tweak the arrow a little bit further. The next step in these instructions will be to remove the hex nut and the washer. So I'll make a new scene to show this movement. In this scene, we'll have the model rotated to the side so that we can show the direction in which the washer and the nut need to be removed. I can hide the arrow since we won't need to show that rotation in this image. And then I'll select the hex nut and drag it out along the V direction and do the same thing with the washer. Once I've exploded these components into their new position, I want to add an arrow to show uh, the connection between where they are sitting now and where they would be sitting in the assembled version of the model. And again, I'll modify some of the properties for this arrow using the window on the right. Once again, we will update the camera position for scene number three. That way it'll be oriented properly whenever we navigate back to that image. We'll make a copy of this into our fourth scene. This scene will have the exploded components hidden as well as the arrow hidden. And this image is going to be showing the blade actually being pulled down and out from the assembly. So we'll reorient the model again slightly. Then we'll activate the triad for the blade and pull it directly down. We'll add another arrow to this image, 
showing the direction in which the blade needs to be removed. And we'll go ahead and adjust the properties again using the window on the right. I'll be sure to turn off the always on top option here so that we can see the arrow actually passing through 3D space in the opening where the blade needs to be pulled through. We'll update the camera orientation for this scene and then we'll switch back to our first scene and start exporting these images. We're going to export these images as technical illustrations, which are scalable vector graphic files. We can see a quick preview of what that's going to look like with the specified outline thicknesses and shadows. We'll go through and publish all four of those images. Then we'll insert them into our blade removal instructions document. Here, I'm just using a cloud version of Microsoft Word, and I'm inserting these images into our user manual file. After some simple formatting and editing, this file is done. We can see these high quality technical illustrations were generated using X Highlight on the 3D Experience platform. I'll navigate back over to the platform where I will take my task and move it into the completed column to let my team know I've finished the work. Be sure to check out the next few videos coming up in this series where we'll wrap up the circular saw project Using our 3D Experience platform tools, we will create a 3D render of the product, we will release the files for production, and put some finishing touches on our build materials.